Hello, welcome to Show and Telling. Thank you for listening in. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day. Whatever you're up to, great night, great day. Mm. Where do you listen to us? I know I have asked this before. Mm. I wonder um, that too. Yeah. Are you out on a walk or exercising or are you in the car? Public transport. Public transport. Mel, you listen to podcasts when you're doing the housework. Cleaning, ironing, all the domestic duties. Gross. Oh, <laughs> seriously. Driving. Yeah, I yeah, listen yeah, to podcasts driving. when I'm driving. It is Stacey Mont um, and Mel with you. Um, As per usual, well, week's highlights. I've got a fun one for you. Okay. Um, uh, Do you want to know, this is how you figure out what your little rapper name is. Oh. Okay. okay. Sorry, what your rapper name is. Mm -hmm. Um, And I was talking about this with people this week and it was making me laugh. So, it's you put little at the front, like L-I-L, little, and then the last thing you bought. Oh, Oh. shit. Yeah. (gasps) I'd be little like for bread. (laughs) Too. Little cheese and bacon roll. <laughs> Mine's little almond chai latte. <laughs> How good is it? It's actually very good. It's good. Oh, it's so very good. Because the last thing you bought is always something usually mundane. Yes. But no matter what it is, it's good. We need to put that up on Instagram for people to yeah. type it in. Yeah, yeah that's great. What's, yeah, that's your, great. what's your rapper name? I love um, that. So that's my highlight, Stacey. My highlight is I, as annoying as this is for everyone who walks past my house, uh, we've been doing some work with Bunnings and I have done Christmas lights all through the front of my house. Good on you. And all through the back. I'm not going to lie. It was a f- real fucker of a job. Did you do it yourself? Yeah. I don't do have, have help. My husband's like, fucking useless. Do you use like – so how do you get them up? Are they just in the trees or are they like along your I've house? I've done like the front. Well, they have these like wire things that you just pull and wrap around hedges. Okay. Which is awesome. And then just icicle lights around the front and reindeers and what, shit. What? Icicle? Icicle. Oh. Light, like drop lights. Right. So across the, re- you know, the edges of your house. I don't know and if icicle back, ones are cool. They're so cool. Look on the Instagram account. It's wicked. What are you oh. talking about? And then at the back I did the lemon tree, which is what brought me undone. Right. Why? I had to wrap. You know how when you do a Christmas tree lights, <gasps> you have to wrap the whole bundle around the tree? Oh, yes. Tangled. Yeah. There is clumps of lights in that tree and I'm going to have to cut that shit out to get it out. Oh, God, it looks say. like literally your – Wonderland. Oh, my God. You like how people drive past your house. You know how people go on – That's my intention. That every year. That's my intention. That's weird. It's awesome. What are you talking about? Why I've people nailed it. There's a house near mine that they've got lights and they play um, Mariah Carey's – um, <laughs> oh, wow, what? Yeah. And the lights go in time to that. Do they? Yeah, and they get a crowd out the front of their house. I want to. Wow. I, I don't want people to stop. I just want people to be like, they've done a fucking good job of that. Yeah. Like people fun for don't kids. Do My it. kids are into it. Like, of that's course they would fun. be. People don't do it enough. Do you remember? They the, don't. I think that I think there are still places you can go. But mm. I remember um, a couple of streets down from where we live mm. years ago, the entire street used to do it. And it was like people were walking with their families yeah. Yeah. and there's they some made it towns, interactive. There's some towns around, like I can't even think of where it is, but it's on the other side of Melbourne where it's part – when you rent there or buy there, it's part of the cancel rule that you have to decorate to a certain amount and they pay for your electricity. I reckon it could be oh, Ivanhoe. Wow. Yeah. Is it the boulevard in Ivanhoe? Yes. That's yeah. where it is. Oh, I yep. might go there this year then. Epic. It's so much more fun. Oh, I feel yeah. like we don't get into things enough here. Yeah. Aussies well, are a bit like that. It's the same as yeah. Halloween. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, you know, a, a, like there'll be one street in your area, one or yes. two streets that get really into it, but still they're really into it. It's a bit pathetic. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, I know. Totally. You know? I know. Yeah, but you're like me. We just judge everyone, but we don't we do don't it. Do a thing. <laughs> I'm in. I'm all in. I had a couple walk past when I was wrapping all the lights and stuff, clearly having a fight with them. And they were like, are we here already? And I was like, please don't judge me. Yeah. Just please, I'm not this organised, but now I'm done. Yeah. Like well, you, as you December did first comes, it's on. Yours was a work thing because yeah. we were doing things with Bunnings. I would have done it anyway. But, um, but yes, but you wouldn't have probably done it that full yeah. on. But, um, yeah, that's great. Good on you for doing Thanks. that. My I'm kids really are really happy with me. Yeah. Enjoy it, it Stace, because you think that putting it up is the problem. <laughs> it's the taking it down. There might be quite a few that you can leave up. Fairy lights are beautiful. I'll leave the lemon yeah, tree up. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. um, this time last year we were living in Byron Bay. We did three mm. months up there and it was yes. Christmas time. You can't get a re- – we could not get a real tree to save ourselves. Oh. I don't know if because the weather is so hot – but oh, maybe. if anyone had a real tree, they would go and they would literally go out and cut it down, like wow. old school. Yeah, there was places you could get the trees, but we ended up just getting a, 
a fake one. It's really weird when you can't – nowhere. Mm. And when you can't smell pine in your yeah. house. Yeah. yeah. Smell. It is such a good smell. But then, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do this year. Some so people fucked. just get a fake in, just get pine and put it in vases around the house that smells like pine. Oh, that's a good oh, idea. That's a great mm. idea. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I always wanted real when I was a kid. My kids wouldn't care less if we had real or fake. You've got to store a fake one though. Where am I going to store a fake one? I don't have enough room. The annoying thing about the Christmas tree though, the real one, is getting it taken yeah. at the that end of it. That is the problem. I yeah. was always so hard ass. We always had to have a real tree. Yeah, about two years ago, Mark was like, it, it's, you a know, nightmare. September the following year and there's this, this brown <laughs> it's true scratchy though. It's thing awful. in the backyard. We've, yeah. it, like he said, I'm sick of it. Mm. We have to just get a plastic tree. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. One year I had to have two real ones though because my real one died so badly before Christmas. I'm like, we cannot have this (laughs) in the house. No way. Did you water it? I remember that. I I I obviously didn't water it enough. No. (laughs) My mum did. She watered the shit out of hers and it died. Yeah, it's It's so annoying. You've got to put bleach in there too. I know it sounds stupid, but someone told me once and I always used to put bleach in with the water. Huh? And they were always fresh as. Really? Wow. That's a good old wives' tale. I love things like that. Like sugar in flowers? I was just... That is so weird. I was just about to say this. I bought flowers once and I had the flowers in my hands and I walked past a homeless man and he said to me, make sure you put sugar in your vase. And I got home and I did it. And it makes your flowers last so much longer. And I said to Sam, and this was awful, and I was quite a lot younger, but I remember saying to Sam, I just had a moment when I'm like, this man who is living on the street, Mm. he knows things and Mm. and has advice and has lived a life. Mm. Like for him to stop me and go, beautiful flowers, put sugar in it. Like maybe his mum put sugar in her vase. You know, it's really cute. Yeah, it is cute. Um. Hey, just talking about that year that the Christmas tree died, I remember because my dad hacked it and I was like, Dad, this looks so bad. I got him to – because you know how sometimes you have to trim them down the bottom to get them Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of my dad. Oh, God. Another great video. Oh, he always sends me great videos, always sends me the most random videos. He and a cup – I'm always on an email, no hello, nothing, just dad – will send a video to me and maybe three of his mates and it will just be something so random. What more do you need? <laughs> Nothing. Yes. I don't need anything else from him and that's that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's really great. <laughs> but he oh um, was uh, – had he's got um, wooden stairs mm. and he had his socks on and he was taking <gasps> out the rubbish – Mm. And he fell, slipped on the bottom. Luckily, it was the bottom three stairs. And opposite the stairs is like a wall. Mm. So, <laughs> Dad it's fell. Funny, not funny, I know. And he put, like fell so heavy, hard. He, he put, put a hole. He put his head through the wall. <gasps> he broke head. his neck. Oh, my God. <laughs> when did this happen? The other day. I was talking to her on the phone. She goes, oh, like his just neck. leaving the hospital. My dad broke his neck. Oh, I'm yeah. laughing. It's not funny. It's like when people tell you your dog died. I feel oh, like yeah, I don't know why I'm laugh. laughing. I'm picturing your dad. <gasps> oh, and he's got to he's got to have a neck brace on for three months. Oh my god! And he's got a massive egg on his head, <laughs> and he's just laying there, and he's ropeable because he's just like they're so oh, like the f- yeah. and he's refusing to eat their hospital food. Oh, but he's a do- he's a, he's on your dad. He's in a good nick. Well, like he'd be annoyed about this. Oh, so annoyed. My dad's yeah. seventy two, and he still plays tennis like every day. Oh, yeah, wow. he's in good nick. Um, and he's the first thing he's like, "Am I going to be able to play tennis again?" And but um, I told Bax, my son, and he had the same reaction as you. I was like, oh, you know, Poppy's in hospital and he's okay. <laughs> but he put his head through a wall and Bax started to giggle. He's like, oh, my gosh, it's like his head is the picture in a frame. Because <laughs> he oh pictured God, it like, so oh, cute. yeah, through the other end. Through the other yeah. other way, yeah. Oh, that's oh so funny. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cute. Have we done everyone's highlights? Um, no, mine is um, spawned off something really shit. My internet has been out for almost two weeks what? at huh? home. If I had to tell you, I won't name the company, but the big, you know, phone, we've got everything bundled with them, oh, right? Yep. The frustration at talking mm. to these people, I can't even tell you. It would come up for like half a day, then drop out again. Yeah, it's so annoying. So frustrating. Mm-hmm. I don't right? want to hear that though. They're, they're so boring hearing people's phone and internet problems. No, I, I, no <laughs> hang on. That's not – That's It's obviously not the peak. My peak part. is off the back of this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So this bitch. past weekend, <laughs> it's like, oh, let me tell you about the dream I had. Yeah, exactly. That's you were you, you but you weren't that. really you. And you were at home, but it wasn't our home. <laughs> like, it's so, <laughs> so annoying. Um, but my kids had no internet. Now, I don't let them use their iPads during the week, but mm-hmm. it's a free-for-all at my joint on the weekend, wow. right? Okay, yep. They've got their heads in those things the whole time. Mm-hmm. There was no internet. I wouldn't let them peer back off my hotspot. Yes. And just watching them play 
together they started making videos like recording on their ipads like doing trick shots and then they wrote out a play and then like just hearing them say hey let's do this together i never hear it and Mm. i was so happy and i went into the toy room and i kissed them both i said i'm just so happy that you're getting along that you're doing something Mm. and they looked at me like i was crazy Mm. you should but it was just so um, nice that it's down more often can they figure it out i think they're too switched on for my next door neighbor's Got rid of their Wi-Fi because their teenage kids won't get off. They literally oh cancelled their Wi-Fi. Amazing. And the people across the street have done it too. Their kids are like, uh, <laughs> like you never see their kids on the street and they're out on the street. That's genius. Oh, yeah. That is so brilliant. You just got to yeah. tell them it's broken. We're in for a rough ride. Mm-hmm. We really are. I like know. Our kids are obsessed. We're obsessed. Oh, I yeah. know. God. I know. But it was inconvenient. But that little oh, it's totally. Yeah, but they'll play without you if so you give nice. them enough time. You yeah, know. I know. I know. Um, uh, Stacy, let's talk about Rafferty. Oh, not God. wanting to. My eldest son Raff is eight years old, um, and he still requires me to park the car so and does mine. walk him in. But he'll walk. He'll go in without me because I've got like fourteen kids with me often, like my nieces as well. But no kiss and go is allowed with us. No, 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 I no drop off. Pa- no drop off or pick up area. Like I have to park and then because I've got the two-year-old and stuff, everything takes 14 hours to get out of the car. So now he's happy to walk ahead and put his bag down and go play with his mates. But he, you still need but to But I do still it. have to park the car mm. and walk in with all of my children and stand near his line. But then he started moving his head away from me when I want to give him a kiss in the line. Oh. And so I just kind of made him keep doing it and just didn't think anything of it really. And then um, after school this well, a couple of days ago I said to him, Oh, Raph, are you not wanting me to kiss you in the line anymore? And he goes, oh, I don't think so, Mum. Oh. And I was like, oh, well, do you want to talk about it? Like, what <laughs> is it? You know, and then immediately I was like, are you being peer pressured that this isn't cool anymore? So I yeah. started to have that conversation of... What's that little asshole's you, name? Yes, What's he been yes. saying? Yeah. Um, is this a decision you've made? Are you feeling uncomfortable in front of your mates? Are you embarrassed? And he's like, oh, no, I just don't need it anymore, Mum. Oh. And I was like, uh, oh, okay. And then I brought it up again that night. Is like, why are you grilling me about this? And I, and he was like, I'll give you extra kisses at home, mum. Oh. And I was like, well, can I just make a compromise here and give you a kiss as soon as you get out of the car? But you just have to give me an extra kiss. And he was like, fine. Oh, fine. My, my eight-year-old so is full teenager. And I'm like, oh, thank God I've got two others. Yeah, that's thank hardcore, God. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's so hardcore because the other two are so far up my jumper. Yeah. And then you realise, oh, so I've got eight years, have I? Until my kids are oh like. Oh, my God. Yeah, nah. Do you don't need still to. let you? Um, well, I do kiss and drop. That is one thing. You know, there's things about parenting you think. Like you look at pictures of your kids when they were little and you go oh I miss you know mm. when they used to do this or whatever it's like wiping asses I do not miss walking them into school yeah. I drive them to school literally in my um in my pajamas, pajamas yeah right oh, that's wow. so good yeah but no they both still kiss me my son goes overboard so if I have to walk into the school for something or they've got something on at school and I walk in he will run that to the point where I have to say stop jumping on me i love you mom i love you mom (laughs) he has no no sort of what grades in three oh that's good yeah but i have to sort of tell him to settle it down a little bit because there's i i love the kiss and everything but when it's mom come come here please and he always says he says i have jommy he calls him jommy he says i've got jommy cheeks right which i think is just a way of saying fat cheeks right and he's like is that an italian word no he's just Mm. made it up it's like like Plump cheeks, I guess, right? right? And he always has to get the right kiss oh, on it. So he's so like, oh, sweet. no, I didn't get the right ki-. Yeah, but it's also, again, too far the other way. Mm-hmm. I love you, Mum. I'll see you in half an hour at Pika. I, I love you. You know? Oh, yeah. Is Bax so still kissing sweet? you? Yeah, Bax does. Bax is very affectionate. Mm. Yeah. It's no surprise my kids aren't. No, not at all. Oy. Yeah, because we were just talking about, Mal, how your husband wants to have a shower with you. You've never had one with him. Oh. And Stace is like, that makes me feel nauseous. <laughs> I can't think of anything no, worse. Not in the shower. We're cleaning than ourselves. Than having a shower <laughs> with somebody else. I, it's disgusting. It's not disgusting. I, nah, I am so – it's one of my things I'm so not into. I don't even like someone being in there. Like my kids are always coming in and out or mm. he'll come in and brush his oh, teeth yeah, while I'm no in the privacy. shower. And I'm like, Give me a I minute. just need to wash my asshole. Yeah. <laughs> can, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. can you please? Yeah, you know, I just – there's – I don't know. Nah, in a shower, I find it 
Yeah. I don't know. I don't want it like soaping up each other. It's oh, disgusting. No, that's not, there's nothing to me. There's nothing sexy about it. No, no. Why are you sitting there not having an opinion about this? We're I know. Oh, they shower show. all the time. No, we together. don't. My, our shower's too small. It barely fits my son and I. Like Bax will often want to shower with me or Arlo will. And that's um, like there's not enough shower head to go mm. over both of us. Yeah, my no. one's quite small. So, no, we don't. We don't shower together. But you did. <laughs> I, don't, I'm, I mean, we might have at some point. but Ten nah. years ago. Yeah, we haven't done it for a long time. But I'm not anti it. But the thing is, it's you can't just – like if you're going to do it in the shower, there's not many ways you can do it. No, like it's in movies and stuff, they make oh, you're it look really break easy. Your neck. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not like nah. that. Imagine oh. it's so many mishaps. I don't. I've never liked touching people in water. Like anyone, I've never. I don't like the feeling of touching yeah. people in water. Maybe that's part of it. It's yeah. weird, isn't it? Like yeah. in the, when we're in the pool or anything, I don't like the feel of bodies oh, on my really? body. Yeah. Huh, that's strange. Oh. I know, isn't it? Yeah. But I just remember, yeah, with anyone, I haven't, I've never really liked it. I vividly yeah. remember, we had a pool when we were younger, when we lived in a motel in Wayne Garatta. <laughs> and I remember going, Wang. people don't think you can breathe underwater. I would have been four. And I went under and tried to breathe under the water. Oh, God. Did you literally inhale and yeah, just uh, inhale uh, water? Yeah, totally. <gasps> Imagine, like, because I remember going, I'm going to be able to breathe. All these dickheads can't, but I can. (gasps) I remember I nearly, I didn't drown that time, but I nearly drowned another time. And I vividly remember looking up, going, I'm fucking drowning. Drowning is, God. you know when people say it's a peaceful way to go, drowning would be the worst. I don't believe Fire, there's any burning. peaceful way to go. I think there are. I think there I are do ways not think there be. is. Unless I don't you have burn. a heart attack in your sleep, it's still mm, yeah, at some point no, going right. to give you a fucking sting. There's yeah, no way that's no, not going to no. sting. Fair call, fair call. No, I know. But that's why this is so crazy of me, but if I drive over a bridge underwater, so say if I'm driving over the Balti or the Westgate or whatever, mm. doesn't matter whether it's torrential rain outside. Windows always got to be open. Even though I know I wouldn't survive the fall if it fell, oh I am God. so scared. We've listen, learned a lot about you the last few listen, podcasts. Imagine, imagine, imagine going down in the water and that sensation of the car filling up with water and not being able to open the door. Now, this is like <laughs> unbelievable. Like, this is... Don't you ever think of that stuff? Of course Never. I think about it, but I don't like – I've figured out ways to survive a plane crash. Well, sure, I'm Because I'm sitting there like, oh, is this plane going down with turbulence? But like everyday bridge driving and stuff? But, yeah. Well, hang on. It's not every day. Well, right? you it's not like when I go o- – that's right. So it's not like I go over an overpass and it's not like I avoid going over the bridge. If I wouldn't go over the bridge, that would be crazy. Well, yeah, yes, Just opening yeah. a window. Stop making me feel crazy. <laughs> No, With a torrential, it, I have my, one of my parents' good friends like can't drive over bridges anymore because of that stuff. Like really? he can't drive over a bridge or in the Burnley Tunnel or anything. Oh yeah. no, the tunnel I don't like either. I go yeah. under it if I have to, but I don't like it. I yeah. don't like the idea it's underwater. And that's think, a full. But, but I mean, we've spoken about it a lot, and it's terrible that we laugh <laughs> at your anxiety. But that's totally yeah, I know anxiety. Yeah, it is. Like to th- you just you constantly got every scenario of what can go yes. wrong. Like Everything. I want to survive every. Single can I tell thing. you something? This is how bad it is. My sister in law was in Thailand a few years ago, and she sent me a picture from the balcony of her hotel room, like this beautiful resort. Over Overlooking the beach, the first thing I thought was, "What if there's a tsunami?" <laughs> I can't. There's no pleasure in things because your Shit. mind's always yeah. So, would you ever go yeah. to Bali? I would. You know what I'm scared of with Bali? The dog Bali belly. belly. Yeah, nah. me too. That's what puts Bali me belly. Off. That's I'd the only sure. thing that sure. puts me off. Mm. Bali belly. Yeah, but you can. You can. I have been to Bali six hundred times and never had Bali belly. You don't get. Yeah, ga- no, you've never had gastro, mate. I get gastro oh. sniffing the air of someone who's had it. I would go down for sure. Mm. I would rather someone, I don't even, I, the worst thing you could imagine doing that to me than yep. getting gastro. Smack me in the kneecap with a baseball bat. Don't really? give me gastro. I honestly know it's very strange, but I never had you gastro. You must have an iron you, gut, yeah. mate. You have to. Maybe that's why you I'm very gassy. You are 38 years old and you've never had gastro. I don't, I'm, I don't, I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, I touch wood nervous. for you. I, I can't too. touch wood anymore. I was too, too. Um, oh, that's right. On it, so I had to give it up. <laughs> I haven't done it in years. We're Any all going thought. crazy here, guys. Because so the just amount, so of, you know. amount of thoughts you have that are fucked up, I was just constantly, where's wood? Where's wood? Where's wood? Where's wood? Where's wood? Touch. I was like, da, 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 all day. Oh, obsessive. Yeah. So I was like, it's enough. Yeah. This is controlling and nothing <laughs> is, like touching wood's not doing anything. It's so ridiculous. Holy shit, oh we're all God. going mad. Yeah, we're mad. We're all mad. We just talk about ours on a public podcast. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, hey, that is us for today. Um, thanks for listening in. As per usual, we love it. Any um, 
anything you want to talk to us about, he- shoot an email, stacy at showandtellonline.com.au. That's S-T-A-C-E-Y. Um, and uh, we read all your comments. We love them. So thank you. Anything else? I always sound so so. pushy at the end, but I just do want you to know that we read your comments and we love them. And when you do comment on iTunes, it helps bump us up so then we get more listeners and it's growing nicely. Yeah, and even if you just rate us, like literally just give us five stars. Yeah. (laughs) But just rate rate us. us poorly. No, I know. as well. But, um, yeah. Do you reckon any rating's better than none? Is it a bit of that situation? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, no one wants to pop on somewhere and see one star. That's a click right off. That's true. I know. Mm -hmm. But all of the people that have commented. Even four stars I'm questioning. All, all beautiful. Yeah, we're very lucky. Except that one podcast we did do where we spoke about the looks of what was that? Oh, yeah. Katie Simpson. That was wrong. That, that was, was wrong. Wasn't I'm it? We were saying how I had that feeling too. I wonder why I didn't say you something. You should have said it. Because yeah, very And then we used it as a grab mm. on social media. And as soon as I saw it, I'm like, that's fucking hideous. Yeah, it's not mm. us, is it? We were st- speaking so badly about his looks, and each to their own on what interests you. But you can't fucking pick at someone's looks. We no, must you have had an off day. Yeah, we were. Because normally we have no. We we really do not have any boundaries. So that's why if something yeah. like that comes up and we just go for it like we normally would. But we don't normally even talk Very like unusual. that. But you know what? Sometimes it, ha- sometimes shit happens and sometimes you say things that you regret and in hindsight you look back and go, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, You live and you learn. It's not a nice feeling either when you go, oh, no. if that was the first time anyone listened to us, I would think that's what we're like and we're not. Yeah, no. Anyway, we've lost yeah. them now, haven't we? Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> have a good day, everyone. Bye, Bye for now.